Well, it is January and it's the time of year. People are making their New Year's resolutions, of course. And about one in three of us will resolve to better ourselves in some ways starting this week. But how many of us will keep those resolutions through the end of the month? Yeah, that is the question today. Dr. Kim Taylor, she is our guest this morning. She's joining us with advice on how to make and keep your New Year's resolutions. And Dr. Kim, always great to see you. First of all, Happy New Year. Thank you. The same yes. to the both. Yes, Happy 2015. It's hard to believe it's already here, uh, right? Yes. It, and last year sped by really fast. I think Seriously. a lot of people uh, were probably making their resolutions last minute or trying to figure out what they're going to do. But um, how many people actually do you think make New Year's resolutions? Is it pretty common? Well, the the point is, is that some think that it's a waste of time. But the truth is that you have to start. And mm -hmm. you can't reach a goal unless you do start. And the stats show us that about 64% are still at it by the end of the month. And then it does uh, taper down to about 44, about six months out. But you want to clue into what is it that that those who are succeeding are doing in order to keep their uh, keep on the path and to set, set up for their goals. All right, well, we all have our resolutions, I guess, but what are the most popular ones? What are people always doing Well, every year? we could probably all name them because they stay the same. <laughs> to lose weight, to eat healthy, to exercise, to stop smoking, to stop drinking, to uh, uh, rein, rein in the spending, to find a new job, to have less stress, uh, and to spend more time. To sleep for more. yourself to sleep, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, and that's to just take care ones. of yourself, Gosh. yes. It's kind of hard because there's so many of them, you know, sometimes I don't know if that's an issue if you have too many, but I guess what are the ways to increase the probability of, of maintaining these goals? Okay, and that's the question and that's what you definitely want to know. So we have a, f a few pointers that we'll put, put up there. But the first one is it has nothing to do with willpower. You can't depend on willpower mm -hmm. because it's the weakest muscle that you have. Mm -hmm. That is only going to last you for about the first two weeks. Mm -hmm. So you want to really make a deeper, a, a deeper a commitment to yourself and have your heart in the right place so that in that you want to be able to make all of this come true but you need to do it and feel very earnest and uh, and you want to commit to yourself and then pick one goal at a time bad habits are hard enough to break so just pick one and start there and start small and build on that each time that you do uh, move toward toward your goal you want to be able to reward yourself with that and then put yourself first this is one of the problems that people have is that they just leave it for the last moment and so that they don't build it in to their life to be able to plan and, and to set time aside to make this work. Um, and you want to be able to reward yourself after every success that, that you do have. And then you want to ditch perfection. That is what makes most people fail, is they think they have to do it in this perfect way. And when they don't, they feel defeated and then they give up. And they are afraid to fail. So keep the big picture in mind and, and just continue to move forward. And one way to really help is to tell friends to get a uh, to get a, a buddy to be with people who really uh, do uh, uh, help you uh, and it's a lot harder to uh, tell friends that you failed like on your Facebook page <laughs> rather than just to disappoint yourself right. so tell friends get a system going so that you can increase all of the uh, focus and to increase the odds that you will succeed mm. yeah having that support I think it's really important. But I mean, with so many people failing at the resolutions, like, mm -hmm. does it make sense to even make them in the first place? Are we setting ourselves up for failure? Well, <laughs> let's let's put it this way: if you don't start, you will never get there. And failure has to be seen as a part of the process. That you don't get to your goal unless you're willing to deal with the failures, deal with the missteps. So those who do succeed and those who do get there are not afraid to fail. So there are two ways to think about fear. Um, one is it can stand for forget everything and run mm -hmm. or face everything and rise. Those who do that 
reach their goals. I love that. Face everything and rise. Oh, yes. I've never heard that before. That's great. Okay, so yes. in summary, obviously it's like, you know, make the goals. You have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then all those tips, I think, is going to make be making your, you more effective. But how would you summarize it for folks that are maybe still on the edge or struggling a little bit? Well, what I would say is take one step at a time. And think about it. It's just one step. And that if you get off track, it's just one step back on the right path. And the more you see it, it's just one step on and one step off. So if you do get off, if you slip up, and we all slip up, we, we are not perfect. And the path to success is both failures and successes. And to really be able to move forward, just think about it, one step on and one step off. Mm -hmm. So the next step, just think about the next step and make it be the step to your goal. Ooh, I like that. I love it. Okay, very interesting. So Rinna and I are going to take this rise, right? not run. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> All right, thank you, Dr. Kim. She All can right. be heard on KZSB AM 1290 at a new primetime hour, Thursdays, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Give her a call. Tune in and uh, get some advice. Just give us good advice here. Yeah, ask your questions there. Dr. Kim, always great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Happy New Year, everyone. Hope your resolutions stick, right? Have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow. In the hotel room, we don't care